in the last session we discussed trigonometric ratios so now we are going to discuss compound angles what is meant by the compound angles we know the angles for example say a b c now can we define a plus b can we define b plus c can we define c plus a and can we define a plus b plus c can we define a plus b minus c can we define a minus b minus c like this so that means indirectly we can say can we define the algebraic sum of the two or more angles yes so we can define the algebraic sum of two or more angles the algebraic sum of two or more angles is called compound angle whereas a comma b are called con each one constant angles so now let us find out the trigonometric ratios of compound angles so first we have sin of a plus b generally we have sin of a plus b means we suppose that sin a plus sin b now the sin of a plus b is equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b here plus plus sign now sin of a minus b is equal to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b okay now cos of a plus b cos of a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b now cos of a minus b the value of cos of a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b similarly can we define tan of a plus b yes we can define tan of a plus b also tan of a plus b equals to tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b so now tan of a minus b tan of a minus b is equal to tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a tan b now cot of a plus b what is cot of a plus b cot of a plus b is cot a cot b minus 1 by cot b plus cot a now cot of a minus b cot of a minus b equal to cot a cot b plus 1 by cot b minus cot a okay so these are the basic formula in compound angles now so let us find out to find sin of a plus b into sin of a minus b using these two formulae let us find out so now sin of a plus b into sin of a minus b so this is equal to 
साइन ए कास बी प्लस कास ए साइन बी इंटू साइन ए कास बी माइनस कास ए साइन बी ओके ना व्हाट डू यू ऑब्जर्व इन द राइट हैंड साइड राइट हैंड साइड इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए प्लस बी इंटू ए माइनस बी सो व्हाट डू यू राइट ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर फॉर्म सो वी कैन राइट दिस इज साइन स्क्वायर ए कास स्क्वायर बी माइनस कास स्क्वायर ए साइन स्क्वायर बी नाउ लेट एस चेंज दिस कास स्क्वायर बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइन दिस कास स्क्वायर ए इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइन लेट एस राइट इट सो साइन स्क्वायर ए इनटू वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर बी एंड माइनस दिस इज वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर ए इनटू साइन स्क्वायर बी so now what do we get let us see this is sin square a minus sin square a sin square b and minus 1 plus sorry this is sin square b and plus sin square a sin square b so minus sin square a sin square b and plus sin square a Sine square b will get cancelled, so we have sine square a minus sine square b. Say equation one. This is now. Can we change in terms of cosine functions? Yes. Why not? This sine square a we can write and sine square b we can write. This is one minus cos square a. And minus of one minus cos square b. So this is one minus cos square a, and minus one plus cos square b. Now plus one minus one gets cancelled. Now what do we have? We have cos square b minus cos square a. This is second equation. Now, from one and two, we can write. We can write sine of a plus b into sine of a minus b equals to sine square a minus sine square b or cos square b minus. cos square a this is the formulation now to find cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b let us find out to find cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b okay let us formulate it now cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b this is cos a cos b Minus sine a sine b into what is cos of a minus b? Cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. Now this we can write cos square a cos square b. Minus sine square a sine square b. Okay. Let us change this cos square b in terms of sine sine square b in terms of cos. So we can write cos square a into one minus sine square b minus sine square a into 
1 minus cos square b. Let us check it. Now we get cos square a minus cos square a sin square b. So, better in this case change the sin square a not sin square b change sin square a change sin square a this is sin square b 1 minus cos square a into sin square b. Now, what do we get you see minus sin square b and plus cos square a sin square b these two gets cancelled. We have cos square a minus sin square b say equation 1. Now, change cos square a in terms of sin, sin square b in terms of cos. 